Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here on Your Health. On today's program, we will be taking your calls for the entire hour, so please get on the phone. I'd love to hear from you. First, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Air pollution poisons the brain while it may play a role in causing Alzheimer's disease. Multiple research centers in the U.S. and Mexico analyzed the overall health and blood markers of young Mexico City dwellers for evidence of damage to the brain and early evidence of Alzheimer's disease. Mexico City is known to suffer from some of the most polluted air on Earth. The researchers correlated these health results with the air pollution levels found in various neighborhoods of Mexico City. They found the children and teens exposed to higher levels of petroleum-based combustion air pollutants showed deficits in olfaction or sense of smell, dysregulation of appetite hormones, deficiencies in attention and short-term memory, and below average scores in verbal and full-scale IQ compared with youngsters living in areas with cleaner air. They also found the kids that had the Alzheimer's gene apolipoprotein E showed the most brain damage from breathing polluted air. Now, this study strongly suggests air pollution increases the risk of Alzheimer's disease. The study was published by the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease. Well, folks, this is disparaging news. Air pollution poisons the brain and it promotes the development of Alzheimer's disease, especially if the person breathing the polluted air has a family history of Alzheimer's disease. This research also discovered air pollution's airborne, iron-rich, strongly magnetic, combustion-derived, transitional metal, rich nanoparticles, or just motor vehicle exhaust air pollution, enters into our bodies through the nose, the lungs, and intestinal tract. The pollution particles then travel through the bloodstream into the brain, where they poison the mitochondria, thereby starving the brain cells of energy that would normally be used to detoxify the brain of contaminants. And it is also contributing to obesity, behavior problems, a loss of mental ability in the short run, and probably Alzheimer's disease in the long run. But there is more. Another recent study from King's College London published in Schizophrenic Bulletin finds young people raised in major cities are up to 300% more likely to suffer psychotic episodes than kids living in the country. Now, there are many reasons for this, but there's no doubt in my mind air pollution is also playing a role in the development of major mental illness as well. Unfortunately, I do not have all the answers that our polluted world needs, but I do know for good health, everyone needs to regularly use detoxification measures, especially if you live in a city. Doctors often provide medical advice that is not based on solid scientific evidence. Researchers from the University of Georgia analyzed 721 general medicine topics found in online medical information sources designed for doctor use. They found only 18% of the clinical recommendations were based on highly credible evidence. The study cites the underfunding of primary care research and information sources as the primary cause of misinformation dissemination. Approximately 70% of all patient contact in the United States occurs in primary care medical facilities. Well, folks, I don't completely agree with this study, but it does make a valid point. Doctors often base their medical advice on outdated or poorly substantiated medical information. What this study fails to acknowledge is, first, the experience of the physician, which may be vast and inclusive, also, the practice of medicine is much more than the application of statistical facts. If medicine were just juggling facts, then machines would make the best doctors. And I don't think any of us wants to have a machine or a computer make our most important life decisions. They may assist, but they can never be in charge. Now, this study also fails to acknowledge the practice of medicine is an art form influenced by a near infinite number of subtle nuances that defy statistical characterization. But it does make a good point, and that is most of our guidelines for drug therapies are sorely inadequate. Now, we must understand that the primary driving force behind medication development, understanding medication's effects and how to use them, comes from the very people that develop the drugs and own the drug's patents. 
the very ones that profit from medication use are writing medical practice guidelines. This is the core problem, not doctors' lack of commitment to excellence. It has been my experience doctors are very practical and hardworking. They use what works, but most do not know about natural treatments. So listen up, doctors and patients. We have so much more to work with than just drugs. In fact, for the last 15 years, we have more new research on vitamins, minerals, herbs, lifestyle measures, and exercise than all of the research on medications combined. Most doctors simply do not know this bank of knowledge exists. This is where you come in. Patients are the ultimate educators of doctors. Help your doctor learn more about natural measures. Share your knowledge with your trusted physicians. And if doctors refuse to embrace the truth, we the patients must put these measures to work for our own benefit. And that's okay, because natural measures are safe and generally side effect free. You really have nothing to lose but suffering and disease. Well, today on Your Health, we'll be taking your calls and we'll put some of these natural measures to work. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, maitake, reishi, shiitake, and cordyceps sinensis. At BioInnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing Mushroom Cordyceps Sinensis in a standalone formula. Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. We all have said, I need to get some exercise, but how many of us put on our walking shoes and go? Learning a little more about the health benefits of exercise may help you get motivated to lace up those walking shoes. Exercise helps to control our appetite and weight. It maintains strong muscles. It promotes the release of endorphins that counter depression while helping us feel good about our lives. Exercise helps to lower blood glucose, promotes a strong circulatory system, and controls cholesterol. Exercise even helps us get a good night's sleep. Recent research finds dog owners who regularly walk their pet are 34% more likely to achieve fitness goals. You can get all of these health benefits by walking 30 minutes four times a week, just 30 minutes a day. Start today and you'll start to get all those benefits. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Welcome back, everyone. It is great to be with you today. Well, we're going to be taking your calls the entire hour today. So pick up that phone and dial 800-635-2673. Let's see how many people we can talk to today. Let's get right to it, shall we? Let's go to Illinois and welcome Linda to the show. Hi, Linda. Hi. Hello, Linda. Hi. How, Hi. Are, how are you today? Okay, I'm pretty good. Uh, I just have 
one major problem. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I have diabetes. I have every single symptom. A couple years ago, I had a simple blood test, and they said, oh, no, you're fine. So I asked them, I said, well, can you do an A1C? And they said, oh, it's really not necessary. But I have the thirst, I, the frequent urination. I'm always hungry. My eyes are bothering me. And it just is, I just, I asked them then, I said, well, if I don't have diabetes, what mimics, what has all those sim symptoms and, you know. <laughs> yes. So, Linda, you said it was a couple years ago when you had this, this test done? Yes. Well, maybe that has changed now. I don't know, but it, it, was, it, it, it was this bad then, if not worse. I understand. I understand. But uh, the point remains that it would be wise to go back and have another test. And it also allows me to say, if you feel your doctor's not addressing your needs, get a second opinion. We always have that option. Uh, I think tell, that's a, yeah. Tell me about your symptoms so others can learn from your experience. What do you experience? Okay, extreme thirst, and I can drink a lot, and then afterwards I'm still thirsty. And then okay. I go to the bathroom all the time. I have to urinate all the time. Yes. I'm, I can eat a whole meal, and 10 minutes later I'm starving, feeling, and my eyes, I get a lot of blurry vision. Okay. Boy, you are. You know, have you lost some weight? Not necessarily intentional weight loss, but have you noticed you lose weight or you can eat more than you used to and not gain weight? Yes. 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 You oh, know yes. why that happens? Why? Because the blood sugar is so high that you get a lot of glucose spilling into the urine and that is lost out in the urine. So you lose calories through your urine. Oh. And sometimes people even notice that their urine is sticky. Uh, all of these symptoms, and so I think it's really wise for you to get another blood test done. And here's something else that might be helpful. A random blood glucose level is not a very good diagnostic test for diabetes. If the blood level is high, that's fine. You have, you have an affirmation of your suspicion. But really, the, the best test, the gold standard test, and not many people do this anymore because We've learned more about it, but the gold standard is still a glucose tolerance test. This is two to three days of carbohydrate loading, meaning we saturate our body with glucose, so if there's any extra, it spills out easily. And then we do a fasting blood sugar, glucose level, then we have a glucose load. It's a sweet, sweet soda pop. You drink this and you check the blood glucose every 30 minutes to every hour for three or four hours. And what happens in diabetes, the blood glucose goes up from the sweet drink and it stays up for more than two hours. And if that's above the established normals, you have diabetes. Now, they have also learned that fasting glucose levels can also closely resemble the, uh, the, the glucose tolerance test. What I used to do in practice frequently would be a fasting glucose after, um, a fasting glucose, then I would tell the patient, go down and get some pancakes with syrup and sweet things. Eat, some, eat, eat a breakfast that's sweet, come back in two hours, and you will almost always catch it. But if the uh, glucose tolerant, that's the standard. And maybe that's something that you should consider doing, but I would do that. Do you want to talk a little bit about how to manage this condition? Because it yes, sure sounds please. like you have diabetes. Oh, and, yeah. And I would say 95 out of 100 people, this is off the top of my head, with your set of symptoms do have diabetes. Yeah. May I, type 2 diabetes, of course. May I ask your age, Linda? 68. 68. How is your weight? Uh, I'm 5 feet 5, and I weigh about 140. Okay, you're doing pretty good there. Have you weighed more in the past? Uh, no, this is probably the most I've ever weighed. Okay, well, that can happen. Do you, are you a person who has enjoyed sweets throughout their life? Are you kind of a sweet tooth? Yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so it makes sense. Well, you live in Illinois, and Illinois in the winter doesn't get much sunlight, so there are times in your life when you are absolutely vitamin D deficient. And this is playing a major role in the initiation of diabetes. And our, our whole country is vitamin D deficient. And it's one of the reasons why we have so many diabetics. There are a lot of reasons, but that's one of them. You would like to see you strive for a vitamin D level of above 50 nanograms. And for most people, 
that requires 5,000 international units a day. So that's real important for you to do. The diabetic diet is critical and I want to send you foundations for healing so you can, the healing diet, the transitional diet are excellent diets for the diabetic. I do want to say this one fundamental thing about diet and diabetes. We used to tell everybody four or five small meals a day will better manage your glucose levels. There's growing evidence that that's not the case. Having a large breakfast, a medium lunch, and no dinner or a very light dinner so that you have at least a 12 hour fast, 12, 16, 17 hour fast from your last meal to your breakfast is now appears to be the best way to manage those glucose levels. Okay. Always keep a little snack around in case you feel hypoglycemic, especially if you're on a medicine. But the, the notion I want to get across is the body requires fasting. The concept of fasting goes way back to biblical times. You know, Moses fasted, Elisha mm -hmm. fasted, Christ fasted. You know, this is we have a historical perspective in this. And you don't need to go 40 days to have the benefit of it. Just a 12, 16 hour fast from your afternoon meal, your lunch meal to the next breakfast meal does wonders for diabetes. So okay. consider that and it's a low sugar, low starch type diet and it's all in foundations for healing. Okay. Various supplements that can be of tremendous help, alpha lipoic acid, milk thistle, all of these things help to control glucose, help to protect the liver, help to protect the kidneys from the damages of diabetes. Chromium picolinate, that's a trace mineral that the body uses in its enzyme complexes that help us use glucose properly. Grape seed extract with resveratrol. Products of the, of the grape are outstanding for the metabolic aberrations of diabetes. They, they actually turn, this, we have multiple studies on this and this is worth pondering. They actually turn the metabolism of metabolic syndrome, the prelude to diabetes, into normal physiology. So wow. in other words, the type of diet that would lead to weight gain and the initiation of diabetes and high cholesterol, it actually reverses that pattern. That is remarkable. So it's, it's a must-have supplement for the diabetic. Mm -hmm. Fish oil. Fish oil helps to normalize triglycerides. It keeps those blood... Um, uh, lipids back in uh, proper alignment. Most diabetics have a yeast problem. Most diabetics do and it, it, it goes to the dysbiosis, the altered bowel flora that accompanies metabolic syndrome and diabetes. This is clearly established now uh -huh. and so oil of oregano, probiotics, uh, black seed oil, these natural antibiotics are tremendous for the diabetic. Um, let's see, how about some noni juice, curcumin, antioxidants, this type of thing. All of this is, is tremendous. And don't ever forget, diabetics, that the typical diabetic can burn up to 800 to 1,000 percent more thiamine B vitamins than somebody else who is not diabetic. So having a good B complex in your multiple vitamin is critical. So the book's coming, a good list of supplements, and please go get your blood checked again. And if you don't like the results, get a second opinion. Sounds to me like you have diabetes. We have a break. We'll be back in a minute, folks. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet and most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the fish oil complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Do you have a family history of a certain disease? 
Scientists are discovering that our genetic code plays a smaller role than previously believed. Only about 20% of disease is tied to our innate genetic code. So what determines the other 80%? The answer may lie in the emerging field of epigenetics. What is it? Epigenetics is a group of changing factors responsible for both how our genes are read and how they are then applied throughout the rest of the body. And this may explain why identical twins with identical genes can have different health problems. Researchers believe two of the main factors in epigenetics are nutrition and environmental exposure to toxins. So eat a healthy diet, reduce toxin exposure, and you may improve your own epigenetics. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Have you heard of Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy? This remarkable mushroom also supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and lungs. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients, Cordyceps sinensis. Medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. And Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available today, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back taking your calls the entire hour today. Let's go to Oklahoma now and welcome Benita. Hi, Benita. Hi. Hello, Benita. How are you today? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. How can we help you? Dr. Becker, I was wondering if there was anything that I could take to counteract the effect of radiation in my system. I have had an awful lot of radiation during my lifetime. Yes. Okay, tell me why. Why you had the radiation? To begin with, when I was nine, I had a brain tumor removed. Okay. And they, I was told I was given all the radiation they could give a nine-year-old. Oh my, yes, yes. And of course, since then, I've been given, I've had um, yearly mammograms, the yearly... Uh, uh-huh. Oh, we just... Your radiation. routine screening tests and whatever yeah, medical right. comes exactly. up, they always scan. And I'm sure they've checked on your brain tumor that it's gone and make sure it stays gone. So you've had a lot of radiation in your life. I exactly. get the picture. Yes. May I ask your age, dear? My age is 67. Okay, you're doing pretty good, aren't you? How do right. you feel? How do you feel? I feel just pretty good. Okay. You know, this is a very good question, and, and I want to make this point first. The best way to handle this radiation detoxification is to do it before you have the radiation and immediately after, and it's an ongoing process. If we wait till the damage is done, our repair mechanisms are not as effective. But we didn't know all this when you were a nine-year-old child getting right. radiated. We didn't understand it. So what we're going to talk about is beneficial to you, but all the other viewers watching today if you're headed off to radiation therapy for cancer, please check into these agents that help us tolerate radiation better. Now, I also want to make this point. There's been a couple of uh, press releases in the scientific circles lately that says the radiation to children in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer is not as damaging as we once thought. And all I want to say about that is, are you willing to stake the life of your children on one person's opinion? Mm -hmm. Because it is not substantiated with a bank of knowledge like all that we've learned about the effects of radiation. I hope this line of thinking is correct because when we need to do a diagnostic test or we need to radiate a cancer for whatever we're using it for, we need to do it. We're trying to save a life here. Right. And if the radiation is less damaging than we thought, I'm all for that. But there's a lot of information that says it is. And there is no doubt about these things, Bonita. Mm -hmm. Radiation damage is accumulative. 
So the effect of radiation when you were nine years old is still in your body. It's like a savings account. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And so that effect, it adds up. And so we have repair mechanisms. And one of the absolute best things you can do is take the cruciferous vegetable extracts, diendomethane and sulforaphane. We just call them DIM, the DIM complex. It's easier to say. And those remarkable substances found in Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cabbage, that type of thing, the cru cruciferous vegetables, when you extract it from the sprout, because the tiny growing sprout, the young sprout, contains the most, it turns on the enzyme system that corrects the DNA damage caused by the radiation. So that's your first thing. And I would take two capsules once a day. That's the first thing. Also, beta-glucan. Now, beta-glucan can be extracted from baker's yeast. It can be found also in the medicinal mushrooms like shiitake, reishi, ABM, this type of uh, organism. And the beta-glucans improve our tolerance to radiation, plus they also turn on repair and protective mechanisms. So I, I think the most economical and multi-benefit approach is your medicinal mushrooms. It certainly is cheap compared to the best beta-glucans, but I don't want to undervalue the beta-glucans. Uh, they're wonderful. So you can, you can use either one. I want to send you the medicinal mushrooms because they have other anti-cancer benefits as well. One of the most remarkable substances and in general, the substances that help with radiation are known for their antioxidant abilities. So this would be curcumin, curcumin from the spice turmeric. Curcumin can be immensely helpful, immensely helpful. I would take at least two of these capsules every day, and I would also add turmeric spice to my cooking. Uh, you know, the American palate typically does not appreciate the flavor of curry like somebody from India would because they were raised on these foods. Yeah. Well, you know, there are different types of curries. Uh, somebody told me once there are at least 50 different curries. A curry is a blend of spices. And you can get a curry spices that taste quite good and very consistent with the Western palate, or you can just get the spice turmeric, which is actually bland. It's really quite bland. The key to using turmeric and it's cheap, is to dissolve it in oil. So let's say powdered turmeric, put some olive oil in the pan, sprinkle a little turmeric, let it get warm, then put your vegetables in there, let them saute. Now that's dissolved turmeric, you'll absorb that well. We also have it in the, uh, the uh, uh, supplemental form where it's been extracted in. Mixed with the rhizome oil, it increases absorption dramatically and it's not messy. So. Figure out how to do this. I recommend people take the curcumin supplement because I don't necessarily want to eat curry every day. Uh, you know, I like curry, but yeah. not every day. So I, I have the turmeric when I can have it in my diet, but I take the curcumin every day. Grape seed extract, products of the grape, they have benefit when it comes to radiation. Noni juice, noni juice is very helpful. And then probiotics. Probiotics, that's your basic group. I also want to send you foundations for healing so you have general working knowledge. I've got that. And I, Bonita, do you have another question before we go to our break today? What else? I just want to do, I just, these are preventatives, right? Well, no, both. They are preventive and they've been shown to help correct damage okay. done from radiation. One, the, I'm glad you mentioned that. Being iodine sufficient is really important to protect the, uh, the uh, thyroid. One of your most common, see the head, you are right on the head, your close organ here, of course the brain, but also the thyroid gland. When we have enough iodine in our system, then we're not, we're not nearly as sufficient to the effects of radiation and radioactive particles. So iodized salt is only partially good kelp is a good way to keep your iodine level up and if you're profoundly low and the blood test shows that iodoral which is a product that has 
iodine in it to get your iodine levels up. And unless you're eating seafood once or twice a week, most of us are a little low in iodine. And, re and understand, uh, in restaurants, fast food, they don't use iodized salt anymore. It costs more, and they're in it to make a profit, not make you healthy. So iodine is a real problem in our country, and yeah. getting a little extra iodine helps to protect the system too. How's that? Is that helping? I hope that yes. helps you. This is so common and we hear it so often and usually we hear just as from you, well I had the radiation, now what do I do? The best way is I'm going in for radiation, what can I do to help protect me? If we could get that across to people, boy, we'd be helping. All right, we have a break. We'll be right back with your call. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. I'm Dr. Richard Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Do you suffer from cramps, gas, bloating, or other digestive troubles? How about fatigue, depression, and headaches? All these symptoms could be caused by a condition called lactose intolerance. Your body doesn't digest lactose, the sugar found in milk and other dairy products. As a result, you can suffer from a wide variety of symptoms. If you often experience digestive problems, fatigue, depression, or headaches following meals, try avoiding dairy for a week or two and see if your symptoms lessen or go away. All of the nutrients found in dairy, including calcium, are present in sufficient amounts in other foods. So if you find that you are lactose intolerant, you can safely avoid dairy and still enjoy complete nutrition. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. You've heard the news that the nutrients CoQ10, L-carnitine, D-ribose, and magnesium promote cardiovascular health. And now you're looking for quality supplements you can trust. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients provides you the highest quality Heart Smart supplements. Dr. Becker's Bionutrients CoQ10 and L-carnitine feature BioSolve technology, which promotes maximum absorption of these critical cardiovascular nutrients. That's right. Feel the Bionutrients Heart Smart difference when you start your journey to better heart health today with Dr. Becker's Bionutrients CoQ10, L-carnitine, D-ribose, and magnesium. Just ask for Dr. Becker's Heart Smart Plan at Bioinnovations, and we'll help you get started today. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net. That number's 888-442-2128. We're back, everyone, taking your calls the entire hour today. That phone number, once again, 800-635-2673. Let's go to Indiana now and welcome Wesley. Hi, Wesley. Hello, Hello. Wes. How are you doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> um, that's number one, I've got uh, several illnesses I battle. Okay. Uh, but I have breathing problems from sandblast and dust. Okay. And a lot of the medicines for other stuff affects my, uh, my breathing also. Okay. And I was uh, wanting to know what would What would help, help you? With the breathing on that. And then another concern I would have is I've got a bone spur inside my spinal column digging into my spinal cord. And I've Ouch. heard you show about, yeah. 
yeah. heard your show about a year ago, and you was telling something that would dissolve it over time, and I was wanting to know about that. Okay, and slow down, Wesley. Slow down one thing at a time. Okay. Now let's talk about your sandblasting. What was the agent you used to blast through the gun? What was it you used? Quartz. Quartz. Silk. Yep. Silicosis. Did you not use a respirator or something to filter or protect yourself from this stuff? No? Uh, we had been water blasting and we was in an enclosed area that didn't have the water and the boss got a dry blaster and all we had was a hood. It did not have pressurized or anything like that. Okay. Were, are you a smoker or were you a smoker then? Yes, it was. Okay. So you only, you only had one time of unprotected sandblasting. One, one day? Is it? Well, when I come home that night and lay down, I had to set up and catch my breath for yes. probably about 15 years. I spit up gray dust. Um, right. After that, it was like air pressures affected me a lot. A high pressure, it's like I'm in a coma for a day oh, or two. Oh, you poor thing. Well, let's help everybody understand what's going on here. You know, everyone's familiar with the concept of sandblasting. You put uh, little particles of rock, in this case quartz, which is rich in silicone, silico, and silica, and, and not silicone, it's silica. It, this is from the earth. It's basically sand, uh, has a high content of that. And you blast it on, say, old paint. You know, the shipping industry, like ships, the shipyards, blasting off old paint so we can repaint a surface. This is very common to do that. And we're, you have to be very careful with this because silica does not break down into anything. It just stays. It's an element and you're, you're done. That's it. So when we breathe in those fine particles, and of course, sand blasting would take a grain of sand and shatter it into tiny little particles. And, and normally what you, you take multiple steps to assure that we're not inhaling those respirators, hoods, protecting agencies. And if you put a mist of water in with that blast, it keeps the dust down. And this is a problem in uh, masons, uh, brick masons, stone masons, when they're cutting rocks, it's aerosolizing. It's a fine powdery uh, uh, particle size of silica and you inhale that into your lungs and it's stuck. It can't be broken down like organic materials. This is inorganic. And what it does is it cuts and it creates an inflammatory response in the lungs and it creates scarring and uh, emphysema. And so the tiny alveolar cells, the little air pockets that exchange gas, they rupture into larger and larger bubbles. And that is by definition emphysema. And if you are a smoker, it is much worse. If you're also exposed to asbestos, the insulating stuff, which also comes from the earth, which also has a, a, a lot of silica in it, in and of itself, which we cannot break down, it causes a similar problem. So we, this is a real problem for you. Once the damage is done, just think of this as emphysema. It's a cause of emphysema. Emphysema is a progressive disease. It, even if you stop smoking, even if you stop uh, uh, sandblasting, it's progressive. And we have a real problem. There is no antidote cure. Wesley, have you been told that by your doctors? There's no antidote cure. Have you been told that? Doctors will address it. They try to ignore it. I've studied on it, and I also have trouble seeing is like my oxygen levels show okay, but you can't get rid of the carbon dioxide and stuff. No, you, you, you got to, uh, are you still smoking, Wesley? Yeah, a little. A little? Well, if, if when we're talking about things to help, and that's next, stopping smoking is the most important single thing you can do because it just, it just irritates and aggravates and, and it causes progression. It hastens the progression. And now I understand after a lifetime of smoking, it's one of the hardest things a human can do is quit, but it can be done. And I do have to tell you your first year or two after quitting, quitting uh, it's a challenge. It's stressful and people have troubles during that year or two after quitting. 
So it's a rocky road, but it's, it's important. It, 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 now, other things we can do. Here's beta-glucans again. And what's the purpose of that? You know, our body can handle some silicone and asbestos. It's just tiny amounts. When we exceed our ability to excrete this stuff out of our bodies, then we're overwhelmed. But beta-glucans turn on the macrophage, the Pac-Man cells that eat this stuff up and help get rid of it in our body. What little we can do, it helps to amplify that. And I think it would be helpful for you to do the beta-glucan through the medicinal mushroom because it has other lung protective mechanisms besides just the beta-glucan content. No, the diendomethane and sulforaphane. Activating your detoxification pathways are helpful. All of the antioxidants, olive leaf extract, grape seed extract, curcumin, all of these type, vitamin C, all the antioxidants are helpful. Vitamin D is critical for you for your immune status, fish oil, probiotics, and the one last one that I think would be very helpful for you is oil of oregano. Well, what's that got to do with it? We want to help counter infectious agents. Abnormal bacteria that reside in the gut and the respiratory tract will keep the inflammation of the lungs reduced as best possible. That is what I would do. That's where you're going to find some relief. And you might just find these bone spurs are going to get better with this approach alone. I want to send a little noni with that and foundations for healing so you have a general background knowledge on holistic care. We have a break. We'll be back in a minute. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important, it protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioInnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Here is our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. Christian counselor Dr. Henry Brandt wrote, to dwell above with the saints we love, that will be grace and glory. But to live below with the saints we know, well, that's another story. Throughout our lives, we encounter difficult people. These souls challenge the best of us. But the Apostle Paul suggested that we maintain our grace in spite of the actions of others. Paul wrote, if it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Paul acknowledged it may not be possible in all cases, but we should still do our best. Try to look at difficult people through Christ's eyes. Remember his sacrifice was for everyone, even those saints we know who challenge us. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what Astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today.
We're back, everyone. Let's go to Virginia now and welcome Paula to the show. Hi, Paula. Hi, how are you? Pretty Great. good. How are you? Fine, thank you. What's on your mind, Paula? Uh, I have been diagnosed that my heart is getting weaker. I think okay. he said about 60 percent. How come? Hey, they don't know. I do not have no blockages or anything. So he said they don't know what causes it or what has, you know, throughout the years. Are you short of breath? Do you have symptoms? Uh, Sometimes I get short of breath, you know, as far as that goes. just depends on what I'm exerting or what I'm doing. Are you a smoker? No, sir. Have you ever been? No, sir. Okay. Any uh, occupational exposure to something that would damage your lungs or heart? Not, I wouldn't think so, because I worked in a factory that we build the ringers for telephones. That's what I've done. Uh-huh, uh-huh. About 15 uh -huh. years, and uh -huh. that's it. Uh huh. So there's no explanation, no obvious explanation why your heart would become compromised. No, sir. I went to what you call, I call him like y'all an alternative doctor. Yes. He uh, he quit regular practice and going into you know like doing chelation and stuff. I went to him and he done a thorough blood work on me just to see and he you know cause Lyme disease. He said there's so much different things. Oh and yeah. He couldn't find anything. Okay. Because I know regular doctors don't, you know, look for their Well, the one thing that comes to my mind as a plausible cause of your heart compromise is what's called cardiomyopathy. Did that doctor mention that? No, sir. Well. I go to a heart doctor, you know. I understand. But if you've lost 40% of your heart function now, you're down to 60%. That's worrisome to me. I would want to know a reason. I, and there is a reason. They just haven't found it. Yes, Paula. sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, cardiomyopathy is different than having a heart attack. If you have a heart attack, there's a blockage of a blood vessel, and you get a patch of compromised heart function. So you lose heart muscle in, in a patch. Wherever that blood vessel goes, the uh, heart muscle goes into quiescence. It goes into a hibernation status. Yeah. In cardiomyopathy, you lose contractile fibers. So every fourth fiber, every eighth fiber, every sixth fiber is lost. So it's a diffuse damage, and you can't tell that from the tests that show you uh, a heart attack damage. So heart doctors know all of this. You know, it's not a mystery. Uh, you know, an uh, echocardiogram can show this. Paula, what's this about uh, cholesterol? You have trouble with your cholesterol? Yes, sir. But well, you've I not mean, had a heart attack, Paula. Sir? You have high cholesterol, but you have not had a heart attack. No, sir. Okay. It, just, uh, it says cholesterol was 217. That's not high. That's not a problem. That's not causing your problem. And then the LDL cholesterol was a 152. That's a little high, but this yeah. isn't caused by cholesterol. Paula, Paula, listen. Yes, this is not caused by your cholesterol. Yeah. Listen, th this is important, and I want every woman to know this. The studies that support the use of cholesterol-lowering statin drugs are primarily done on middle-aged men. The benefit is well-established for a man in his 50s, for example, who's had a heart attack and has uncontrolled, continued cardiovascular disease risk factors. That's not you. The benefits for women who are approaching senior years, whoa, it's marginal. And the type of problem you're describing is not one that we see with coronary artery disease, which is your cholesterol thing. Yes, sir. So what I recommend to you is CoQ10, L-carnitine, D-ribose, magnesium, and fish magnesium. oil. What this stuff does, it nourishes your heart so it can beat more efficiently. You know, every cell in the human body, through the mitochondria, this is a little organelle inside of the cell, that's the powerhouse. That's the uh, electricity generating, as it were, plant of the cell, and that provides energy so the heart can contract and beat and need what you to, to conduct life. These agents, the CoQ10, the L-carnitine, D-ribose, uh, et cetera, they help that supply chain of energy. Lowering your cholesterol with a drug, let's make this clear, will make the problem worse because 
the statins lower your, your CoQ10 levels. So I, I want to send you the, the um, what do we call them, the awesome foursome, the, the heart smart plan. And I, I, want, I would be very curious to see how your function improves, making, making you feel better. There's some other things we can do, fish oil, Glucomannan and probiotics calm the inflammation in your in your body. The medicinal mushroom. If you need to lower cholesterol, and I understand why people want to do it, but so many of us we don't need the drugs. The medicinal mushrooms, tocotrienols, fish oil helps to lower cholesterol. Vitamin D is really important for you. Make sure she gets a little vitamin D. And I want to send you the great cholesterol myth written by Dr. Sinatra and Johnny Bowden and our book Foundations for Healing so you have a better background in holistic measures for heart conditions. We have a break. We'll be back. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. I'm Cindy Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Did you know the typical baby born in America today has over 200 foreign chemicals in their bloodstream? The world is a polluted place, but just how polluted may come as a surprise. Health experts report that pollution plays a major role in the development of ADHD, obesity, cardiovascular disease, Parkinson's disease, ALS, and a wide variety of cancers, including prostate and breast cancer. There are safe and simple steps you can take to lower your exposure to chemicals. Eat an organic, pesticide-free diet whenever possible. Be careful with the home use of chemicals. Don't consume fish that may be contaminated with mercury. Have your water supply tested for purity and add house plants to lower indoor pollution levels. By taking a few basic steps, we can protect ourselves from disease-causing pollution. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Different people have different vitamin and mineral needs. That's why Dr. Becker's BioNutrients Multiple Vitamin and Mineral Powders come in four different blends. That's right, when it comes to vitamins, no one formula is right for everyone. For those who don't get enough vegetables in their diet, there's the Organic Green Blend with three servings of vegetables in every tablespoon. And for those looking for a boost of fruit and berry phytonutrients, there's the Berry Blend with three servings of fruit in every tablespoon. And don't forget the active adult blend with extra B vitamins, calcium, and added cofactors like ginkgo and CoQ10. Plus, we've designed a multiple for those with allergies called the Low Allergy Rice Blend. Whatever your unique needs are, BioNutrients has a multiple vitamin that's just right for you. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Your Health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back. Let's go to Oklahoma now and welcome Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Hi. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking my call. Oh, it's You're our welcome. pleasure. I hear you've had a tough time, Charlotte. Well, for almost eight years now, I've been dealing with ocular shingles in my... Oh, you poor thing. ...just one eye. Um, it's been kept under control with pills and yeah. eye drops and... Yeah. and and I'm trying to figure out, is there any way I can boost my immune system? Are you in, are you in pain? Normally, no. Okay, but uh, you do have times when everything, when the head and eye and everything hurts and you're having the post herpetic neuralgia? Uh, there, there are times, but that's if, if I've forgotten to take a pill. Okay. Um, if, if I'm under 
extra stress. Yes. How is um, your vision? Are you able to see through the eye? Well, that eye, I'm having difficulty in that eye, yes. yes. Okay, what I'm about to tell you does not negate your need for a qualified ophthalmologist. Because with uh, herpes, uh, the shingles, it's a form of herpes, in the eye, it can cause blindness, and you need an eye specialist to make sure that doesn't happen. Right. And if it does happen, the corneal transplant and whatnot that they have to do, of course, has to be done by a qualified ophthalmologist. So having said that, your real problem is not the eye, it's your, your body. It's the total systemic effect. Your immune system has become weakened and it can't suppress this virus that normally we suppress. Uh, shingles, as you know, is called, caused by the chickenpox virus and almost every human has this and when we're adults, it's suppressed and held down and no troubles. And for some reason your body has gotten weak and it's allowed this virus to come and have its way with you and it's, you've got all these problems. And when the, the nerve where this virus lives stays inflamed for years, it can cause post herpetic neuralgia and all these problems. So we let the eye doctor focus on the eye, lets you and me focus on creating a stronger body with an immune system that can hold this virus down and calm your body's workings. Inflammation-based disease here. L-lysine, the amino acid, inhibits the replication of the virus. The diendylmethane sulforaphane from cruciferous vegetables, that's coming your way. Probiotics, the gut, focus on the intestinal tract. You've been thinking of the eye all this time, think of the intestines. Fix the intestinal tract. Probiotics, oil of oregano, none of this goes in the eye. It all goes into the intestinal tract by your mouth to create a systemic effect. Oil of oregano. Great natural antibiotic. Remember, 70, 80% of the immune system is in the intestines. In the, treat the intestines, you treat the whole body. Active adult multiple vitamin mineral, fish oil, curcumin, B12, alpha lipoic acid, vitamin D, vitamin D, vitamin D. I want to get your blood's vitamin D level up to 70 nanograms. And the only way to know for sure is to do blood tests to find out, but I would suspect it's around 7,000 international units of vitamin D3 daily. So you start taking 7,000, and in a month or two when you have your checkup, ask for your blood vitamin D level, get it around 70. And I want to send you noni juice. I think if you started drinking four ounces of noni every day with this package, Within three months, you're going to say, I feel better than I have in years. Thank you, nature, for giving me relief. Foundations of Healing for Healing will be coming your way too, so you get more general information on how to do it. But the essence of your resolve is in that package, dear. Hang in there, it's coming, it'll be there shortly. Well, folks, time is short. Thank you for your kind attention here at Your Health. We'll see you tomorrow, folks, bye-bye. Thanks, everyone, bye-bye. I never wanted to be associated with heart disease. I never wanted to be the poster child for heart disease. I never wanted people to know that there was something wrong with me. Going through recovery from open heart surgery or being affected by heart disease can be incredibly isolating. It's, it's not easy on your body, on a woman's body. I felt really alone because no one my age really had this problem, never had this issue. And just knowing that there's a circle of women who know exactly the struggles I face every day and are there for me is so empowering. I realized that I wasn't alone and no matter your age or race, I made friends and found sisterhood and really found a second family that made me feel that I wasn't alone anymore. There's so many ways that you can get involved. You can join the movement, you can volunteer, you can be an advocate, and you can donate. All you have to do 